Hey, what's going on guys? Root of the Null coming back at you with some more Python tutorials. Let's get idle fired up and let's see what we can do here today. I'm going to create a new script. Call this uh, file.python. I'm going to get my shebang line started up. Create a new class as always. Define our constructor. Pass in self keyword just like you would do with any function inside of a class. And now we can test if this is the current script that we are running. We can create an object of our new class, and we are set to go. So now back inside of our class, back inside of our constructor, let's define a string. So self.string, and I'm going to call mine uh, this string. It's not going to call it this, but the value is going to be this string, and I'm going to have a new line character here, has new line characters. Actually, I'm going to create a new line character here. Has new line characters, new line again, in it. Then we'll uh, then we'll call it good with that. <coughs> so the string that you got, I'm sorry, the function that you guys can probably guess we're going to be taking a look at today is uh, self dot string, and then it's called split lines. And what it will do is it will turn every single uh, every single thing up until your new line character into an element inside of an array. So if we uh, let's see what our output is first of all here. Let's do print self.string. Now we can add on new line, some new lines here, and then we can print on um, self.string, and then we can run our new function here, split lines. Now if we run this, we get <coughs> this string has new lines, new line characters in it. Let's remove that S here. This string has new line characters in it, and when you look at our function, it has this string has new lines characters in it. And this is because every single new line has been, uh, has been taken out <clears throat> and we have been able to re-put everything else inside the string, inside the element. So uh, let's try and recreate this all on our own. But before we do that, let's. I want to show you guys uh, an interesting, um, an interesting parameter you can pass to this. It has a boolean variable. If we check out a control backslash, oh, looks like we can't see. But if we check it out inside the uh, inside the interactive shell, if we do string dot split lines. What we can do is pass in here, and we can use control backslash to see what we have here. Keep ends actually will let you keep um, the new line character that you've removed. So this is a boolean variable. You can pass in true, and let's do that right here. Let's do if we do false, that's the default value. It doesn't keep anything, but if we pass in true, it will keep these backslash ends that we have here, or the escape characters that allow you to create a new line. So let's try and recreate this all on our own now. Let's uh, let's define a new function. I'm going to call mine split lines. I'm going to have an underscore, because I like those. And I uh, will pass in self, as always. We'll, ta we'll pass in the string. And then I'm going to call mine keeping characters, because I think that's a good name, if, especially if we're doing Boolean tests. And we can set this to false by default. And we can get started. So now what we're going to need is the length of the string, because we're going to be looping through it with numbers. So string length equals length of string. And now we're going to need what denotes a new line. So new line denoter, and this is going to be our string that has that escape sequence, backslash n. And now we can do the new line length. We can set that to be the length of backslash n. I'm sorry, no. The new line denoter. And now we'll need uh, a new string, so we'll be able to keep track of what we're adding and what we aren't adding. We, this can be empty for now. And then we're going to need the array that we're going to be returning. Now we, be we can begin to loop through our, through our string here. We can do for i in range, string length. Let's get our code block started. And now we can, uh, we can test if the string that we're splitting from the index i up until i plus the new line length, if that's equal to a new line character, in our case, our new line denoter is what our variable is called. What we're going to do here is we're going to do array plus equals and then an array form of new string. And then we can reset new string back to nothing. Now, this might look like we don't have anything in new string yet, but this is where our else statement is going to come in. What we can do here is if we find anything that isn't a new line character, what we'll do is we can do new string plus equals uh, that string character. So we can pass an i when we index our string here. And now when we break out of our loop, what we can do 
is uh add the remaining pieces of the new string into our array because this isn't going to get all of it so what we'll do is we'll add in new string just like we did up in here in our conditional statement and then we can return the array finally so if we return array then it looks like for now our function is complete so let's go and put ours up at the top here and let's try and run this and see how it looks we can do self dot split lines because that's the name of our function pass in self dot string and then let's give it a go if we run this, we get this string has new line characters in it, all of which are uh, are strings inside of an array, and it, it parsed it correctly. It understood everything that we wanted it to. But we what we still have to work with this new argument here, whether or not we want to keep characters. If we pass this in as true into the top function, we try and pass this in as true into our function. The top function will get it right correctly because obviously it's already programmed to do that, but ours doesn't have support for it yet. So uh, let's try and add it in. If we go back into our function, we're going to be taking a look at our loop here, and we're going to test if the string has the if the string has that new line denoter inside of it. What we're going to do is we're going to test whether or not we're keeping characters. And remember, since this is evaluated to true, if we pass it in. It will. We can just have the name of the variable be our condition, and uh, what we can do then is new string, and we can add the new string denoter on here. Or that I'm sorry, the new line denoter, and then we don't have to worry about anything else if there isn't, because this way we'll have this new line or that backslash n added on here. So uh, let's try this. We can uh, run our function now, and this does this has the exact same output as the function that we have up at the top here, the built-in one. So there are a lot of interesting things you can do with this, and one of the things that we try to make our function a little bit more versatile, and that you can change what this new line denoter is. You can change what will represent a new line. You might not ever have to do this, but in case you ever want a function that has this sort of uh, this sort of process or this sort of method, and or like you know the action that actually happens when you run this function, if you want to be able to customize that and maybe change what represents a new line, you can do this by simply changing the variable here, or you could just pass it in as an argument, which would be even better. So yeah, there are a lot of interesting things you can do with this, but uh, it's a short little function here, and it's understandable because I think it, it's it's pretty simple. You loop through the string, you test whether or not you're keeping things or not. If you are, you can just add on what you would have lost to begin with, and that sort of thing. But hey, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you can understand it. It's comprehensible and that sort of thing. But uh, please like the video if you do if you did enjoy it. It'd be cool if you could leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and uh, maybe subscribe. I don't know, it's just an idea. <laughs> but if you want to see some more things from me, it's generally a good idea. And hey, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.